This is what it takes for police in Northern Ireland to operate a single checkpoint near the border. Every officer is armed with four armoured support vehicles nearby. Today they were just doing standard vehicle checks at one location, yeah. but it gives some insight into the threat they work under every day. Now the Chief Constable says he's concerned a no-deal Brexit will make life even more dangerous here and put his officers directly in the firing line. In terms of the likelihood of an increased attack on my officers, it well could do. We've seen only this week a, a deliberate attempt to lower my officers into a very rural location and detonate a device that clearly had the potential to kill or seriously injure them. A hard Brexit with the potential of any form of border increases that risk, absolutely. The conundrum is how 310 miles of border in Ireland with more than 300 crossing points will be controlled. The UK government today pledged all physical checks will be kept away from the border. The Prime Minister believes it can be done electronically. That's not an opinion widely shared here. Can this be policed electronically? No, it can't. I don't think it can, frankly. The, the, when you again you go into the some of the rural communities where we're dealing with very small roads with a whole network of um, sort of different byways that it's very easy to get around any sort of hard checkpoints. We couldn't do it 20 years ago with a lot of military support. We're not going to do it now. The mere mention of military at this border harks back to the darkest days of Northern Ireland's troubles when 3,500 people were killed. The old customs and checkpoints that were once a target for the terrorists here have now been closed for a long time. The Good Friday Agreement brought a kind of peace here because it allowed people in Northern Ireland to identify as British or Irish and, crucially, it made the border here invisible. The problem is, no-deal Brexit makes the invisible real again. Today we were with the PSNI on patrol along the border in Newry, getting a sense of just how much of a headache this area would be to control. Well, the border weaves in and out along roads and hedges and through fields and through rivers at times and it's, it's particularly difficult to know exactly where you are unless you've got local knowledge. These are the officers who'll soon be on the front line of the UK's yeah. only land the frontier with the EU, the and they are preparing themselves. Just this week, there was an attempt to kill police officers with a bomb close to the border. Police have blamed the continuity IRA. The man responsible for the PSNI's yeah, Brexit planning yeah, has funny. assessed the consequences uh, of no deal and thinks it will play into the terrorists' hands. The, their scenario planning, for example, cattle calls and um, actual sectors being on their knees within literally a couple of months. If we start to see people losing their livelihoods, losing their jobs, seeing a re-emphasisation re of the land border, uh, that could lead to public order uh, and protest issues. Are you also seeing the dissident terrorist groups here preparing for a no-deal Brexit? Well, what I would be absolutely certain of is that the distant Republican groupings recognise that they, they may well be able to exploit the EU exit. While politicians are still trying to figure out how you impose new checks and controls while keeping this border unchanged, for police here, finding that solution is a matter of life and death.